A little hot and humid out there right now. It's about 75 degrees. We could have some isolated thunderstorms later tonight. Tomorrow it will be partly cloudy, 86 degrees. And on Wednesday it will be 88 degrees and a beautiful sunny day. But it will be a hot one. Full weather forecast coming up later. Authorities are waiting autopsy and toxicology reports after Rodney King was found dead in his swimming pool. King, who was 47 years old, became a symbol of police brutality after LAPD officers nearly beat him to death more than 20 years ago. The incident led to widespread race riots in L.A. Andrew Spencer reports. Police were called to Rodney King's home in Rialto, California around 525 Sunday morning in a 911 call from his fiancée. They found King unresponsive at the bottom of his backyard swimming pool. Police did CPR until paramedics arrived. He was pronounced dead at a hospital. The preliminary investigation is indicating that it has appeared that uh, Mr. King died of a drowning. However, uh, the Rialto Police Department, the Detective Bureau, is investigating uh, the incident. And uh, when Mr. King was uh, removed from the pool, there was no obvious signs of uh, trauma. In 1991, an amateur cameraman recorded four white police officers striking King more than 50 times with wooden batons. At trial, three of the officers were acquitted. The jury deadlocked on a fourth officer. African Americans took to the streets of L.A. in outrage. The rioting caused more than 50 deaths and a billion dollars in property damage. On the third day of the riots, King made a now famous plea. People, um, I just, I just want to say, you know, can we can we all get along? Can we can we get along? A neighbor said he's shocked at Sunday's death. I thought you know he was he was one of those persons that you know would always be around. Um, he's one of the icons that you would look up to because when with the LA riots, he's the one that actually really stopped him. I think by telling everybody, to, can we all just get along? Everybody just started getting along. I'm Andrew Spencer reporting. Timothy Jordan, the doctor from ECMC who shot his ex-girlfriend Jackie Wisniewski last Wednesday, is dead, but that doesn't give her family much closure. The family released a statement recently that said that they are thankful for their family and friends who have been with them through this tough time, and they wanted to thank local, state, and federal authorities for their extraordinary efforts and support. The funeral for the single mother was this past Saturday. The competition between two New Jersey brothers is heating up. The men are vying for one spot on the Olympic trampoline team. Carol Costello takes a closer look at the ultimate sibling rivalry. Stephen and Jeffrey Gluckstein need to jump 30 feet in the air to qualify for the Olympic Games. But that's nothing compared to their greatest challenge, beating each other. Sometimes they fight, you know, during the training, so it's tough. you got to separate them a little. But... Sometimes when they have rough days, they actually support each other a lot, so, which makes it easier. How about Pike back Pike? World champ Tatiana Kovaleva trains them both to face anyone, but Steven knows Jeffrey is the one to beat. My biggest concern against competing my, with my brother is his, his natural born talent. He, he lands so perfectly into the trampoline that if, he, if everything goes his way and perfect, he could be the best in the world. Yet, 19-year-old Jeffrey still looks up to 21-year-old Steven. He has a very good um, work ethic. He, he comes into the gym, he, he trains his hardest and always puts it, his heart into it. When Loretta Gluckstein encouraged her little boys to jump on a trampoline, she never expected it would someday be an Olympic sport and sibling rivalry. They are so close. You know, they've been doing this together every, you know, I mean, literally together every day for the past, I would say, like 12 years. Steven has only lost to Jeffrey once, but it was big. He lost his national title to his baby brother last year. It's a mutual feeling when you beat, beat one of your relatives, but it's also a, a good feeling inside. Steven became determined to beat him, even as Jeffrey remained more friend than foe. We, we spot for each other with uh, a safety mat on the side of the trampoline. You know, I watch his good trainings, but he watches my good trainings as well. And uh, trampoline is really a sport where you have to focus on yourself, your personal best. You're not really worried about anybody else. Even if that somebody else is literally your better half. Carol Costello, CNN Atlanta. See what some dogs in California like to do in their spare time. That story and more of the 6 o'clock report on Channel 25 WVTT next.